Hello everybody, my name is Kendall and welcome back for the video of The Lost Judgment. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Right back where we last left it off. After talking it off with uh, the chairman and everything. Let's see what was gonna happen. I should head back to Yokohama, uh, Yokohama 99. Okay. So we're heading back to the main quarters, the main headquarters. Uh, uh, to figure out what to do next. Alright, well, what ne what's next? Return to Yokohama? Wait, we already did that. So talk to Tsukumo now. Okay, got you. Well, that's Kaido right there. So Tsukumo, that's got to be him. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have any side quests to do. I know I wanted to do some side quests, boys, but I actually have none While in a available. I, can't, I actually cannot do any side quests right now, so... Uh, not the none of the side stories at Judging least. So. The events that followed, Just gonna keep with the main storyline. Using the apartment manager's name, and that's how they got to Sawa Sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa Sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah, Akutsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa Sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana-san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Nijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Nijincho. I haven't been able to contact Kawana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists an address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kawana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Huh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. All right. Looks like we're going with uh, Kaido. What is going with us. So head to Kawana's house. So we're finally gonna see where it lives at and stuff like that so is there a way for me to travel there oh there is central street so i can just take a taxi straight up there i guess the uh, central street it should be right here central street there we go so we're taking a taxi directly there and that should lead us directly to the uh to his apartment which is just uh just right here that's where he lives it's like a poor neighborhood. Place. Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. All right. Well, let's find out. Can you find more about this guy? Can we? Uh, can we go on this side? I guess not. I think I gotta go up this, up these stairs. All right, there we go. Let's find out uh, really uh, quick. Is it even here? It? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. So they got there before us. That's great. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think kawana has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa Sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. 
find some clues then. I need some clues to uncover his true identity. Let's find some clues. We're not gonna find it in that. Matches the office interior surprisingly well. Okay, but nothing special about that. What about this? An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? Yeah, especially since uh, he doesn't smoke. In here. This ashtray is oddly empty. Think so? Yeah, there's something. I mean, yeah, it's... except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. And you think a dusty ashtray is going to get us Kuwana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. I am I wrong to press on with this? No, anything suspicious is worth investigating. Yes. Uh, so we could investigate that. That looks a little, a lot suspicious. Hey, so, what about this? this? A computer power cable. There's a mouse here too. There was a laptop here. Arcade must have taken it. Yeah. So there was a laptop right there. Of info on it. And Arcade's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. All right, let's find out more. Maybe we can find more something better. Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanis? Don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Oh, that's right. He smokes e-cigarettes. An ashtray that's hardly been used. Regular cigarettes that aren't being smoked. That bug you or something? Plenty of folks smoke normal cigarettes and vape too. No. True. No but people do that. You either vape or you do cigarettes, my guy. There's first. no pe. I don't know any any pe any person that does both. Hmm. That would make any sense whatsoever, my guy. Okay, what about this? Hey, look at this lighter. I mean, nearly people start vaping uh, either to s to introduce the themselves USB to the cigarette or to stop. Transitional moment where you they want to stop doing cigarettes. They don't they don't do both at the same time. That's counterproductive. Kaido is really dumbass a uh, dumbass sometimes. Check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? All right, well, we found something. That's good to know, I guess. That went pretty. Uh, that went pretty quick. I didn't have to look around too much. Oh, it got dark. How does it go to nighttime so often? What's the matter, Talk? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh yeah. <sighs> Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kuana other than us, right? Be honest, they so all look the same. Too, so, the at this point, team. they're all RK Probably to me. The best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point talking to a dead man. Are we really going to do this again? Well, that's how you're going to play it. And we're not holding back either. All right. Looks like we're doing this again. Enough already. I'm using my special ability right away. And, you know, if I got to bring my goddamn, uh, my goddamn thing, I am going to do it. EX action. Do the special finish and stuff. Boom. There I go. Do the special attack, boys. Just like that, there we go. And uh, you're not gonna see us coming, buddy. All right, if I have to use my ability, EX action, there we go. Boom, look at this. We're doing so good right now. We're doing a, a good job for uh, working together and stuff, finally. Kaido being uh, a real gentleman and actually helping me out for once. There we go. And boom, all right. Get in, buddy. Oh, you're, you're, uh, you're getting your ass clapped right now, my guy. You can't even beat me. What the hell? Oh, no, you don't. How about I kick your ass? All right, all right. So this guy's done for. EX action. Finish him off. There we go. And now there's this couple of guys left, I guess. Let me uh, grab him really quick. Please grab him. I guess we won't grab him. All right, that's fine. Let's just kick his face then. No, you don't. How about you do that? How about I do some EX action to finish you off finally? 
All right, that seems like it. Uh, that's it, boys. It always results to violence. I don't know why, boys. Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them. I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. <sighs> Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Ijinsho, outside their turf, to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. There must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK is just following orders. Sawa sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kawana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. And who's that? What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kawana sons? Uh, yeah, we're definitely yeah, friends. Do you know where he and is? Gentlemen on the ground. Those guys. Oh yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap, and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kawana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Any time we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We pay him with our daily special. This man is his wife or Kuana's next door neighbors. Well, I haven't heard from Kuana since last Obviously. Night. Do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kawana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering you. Oh, don't mention it. Well, we got lucky with a civilian, actually. Ain't that something, boys? Actually got lucky. The civilian talking to us and letting us know where to find, uh, find him easily. So you unlocked a new skill. Just like that. I don't know how that happened, but I guess I got, uh, got off easy on that one. I could always get a health boost as well. Uh, boost attack would be great. Let me get uh, that actually. Let me get a boost of attack. And that seems perfect. We also have 4,000. Which I don't know what to do that. Let me do Wounded Tiger. I guess for on the verge, right? And uh, the rest we're going to skip it. So where's the Siren? Siren's all the way over there. So I'm guessing we got to go there. So uh, let me take a taxi over there, boys. All right, here we are, right there, boys. And it seems like uh, the the place we're looking for might be right here. Now, there's people that were the bad guys that were right there, but uh, they didn't have time enough enough time to uh, get uh, it, uh, try and attack us. This is the bar Kuwana's relative runs. Seems like it's closed for some reason or something. Think so we can still get in? I guess so. Hello? Anybody here? This place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with Arkay about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. 
What's going on here? Where's the owner? I was trying to figure that one out. Okay, so let me let me try and see. Maybe we go into search mode. Examine the uh, inside of the bar. There's a phone. Wait, someone's calling us. Don't tell me they already know we're here. Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Siren? Soma, that was well played. How silly. Almost had him. This pretty little Almost had piece. Kaito right there, boys. Fuck! Shit, watch out now. He's got needles. Have I told He's you dangerous. Stands for yet? You got a choice to make here, Yagami. Forget about Kaito. It's red. You gotta get your revenge. The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa-sensei? Uh, I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. We'll see about that. You underestimate me, my guy. If you think you can beat me, just because Kaito is out of, uh, out of commission. Alright, here we go. Let's try something right here. You got a knife. You actually need a knife to protect yourself, my guy? It's not by me. Let's kick your ass. Watch out now. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna, gonna watch it right there. I got a weapon myself, bitch. You want a knife? Oh, he got me. He got me with a knife right there, boys. Gotta watch out for those, though. Gotta watch out. All right, let's go. Got it. All right, EX boost. Boom. Got him right there. No, oh, watch out now. Fuck. And when you when you fall down as well, it's like so difficult. All right, we gotta get him, boys. Okay, watch out now. We're gonna grab that shit. Uh, I can't grab the items, really. All right, grab the item right here. There we go. Just like that, boys. What? No, watch out. How do I dodge again? It's like it's not like I can really evade. I'm trying to uh, to dodge, boys, but it's not really working. All right. Oh shit! I tried to do a wall kick and it didn't work. That's great. Okay, I got something for you. Hold on. I have something for you, buddy. Uh, tough, toughness light, toughness Z. Examine uh, this, and also I have extract. Uh, I don't have any of that, so I don't have any ball of energies. Uh, boon of fire. I do have that though. Watch out now. What the fuck? Could have chilled a little bit, my guy. Alright, I'm on you. I'm gonna do an Oricon run on your ass. There we go. And now we're gonna finish him off as well. Right after that, we're gonna uh, finish him off by doing a special attack. There we go. There we go. Now we're just doing a lot of damage via fire and stuff. What? Oh, God. I can't evade. There we go. Got him. Fantastic. There we go. Good evasion right there. What a good evasion, boys. Good, good, there we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Putting him on fire and everything. He can't stop. He's on fire. There we go, that's what I'm talking about right here. Got him. Can't dodge fire, my guy. You want some more? Come get it, buddy. Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. 
You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Yeah, he got the, your, my, uh, me and my eardrums. That kick went to your temple. I'm He's sure really good. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Kuanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. That's the phone to Yagami. I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. I don't know who that owner is Sorry, to be that uh, that convincing, but goddamn. Get an ambulance over to your bar right away. My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry. 20k? Holy shit, that's a lot. That is a lot of points right there just for one boss fight. Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh, and don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, You'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, survive in the entertainment district? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. All right, well, looks like this is the end of that chapter. We're gonna be, we're about to enter a new chapter, boys. Very interesting. Lots Kiwana of death happening. We still RK. haven't found Kuwana, but the we have a relative of his, his uncle, you. which is a ex, uh, ex Ayakuza. Determined we actually had uh, the chance to fight off against Soma. Soma. Managed to beat him off, but he it's basically a tie. And Kaido is in danger of dying right here, As so situation becomes it's dire, just great, you know, really great. So let's find out what's the title of this one: "The Weight of Guilt." All right, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see what that uh, ex Yakuza, that uncle, can uh, do for us. How it can uh, help us? I, I just want to find Kuwana, to be honest. That's all I'm after. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't if you don't make it. Alright, so survive is in the inter entertainment district by, by the river. I have to hurry. Can I not take a taxi over there? Uh, where's the... Where's the, uh, the thing at? All the way there? Yeah, I'm definitely taking a taxi. Taxi, please. Uh, wait. Uh, I got about 10 minutes to do it. So just bar this trick. Take the taxi, it's gonna be a lot faster to do so. And uh, there we go, just like that, we're in. So uh, that's easy enough, boys. So there's the uh, there's the bar right here. You just have to take the taxi, it's a lot faster. Don't go on foot. Alright, let's go in. 
I do remember I still have 20k that I just gained. I'm not gonna no, use it so. just yet. I'm gonna wait on it though. It. You're the owner of Siren? Yeah. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. That's a big giant uh, so glass of ice right here. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, and you're a distant relative of Kuana's. Can I that's a big uh, ice thingy Money. in his uh, glass. This will be the only time I don't know how that's time. effective. How can that be actually Talk effective for uh, drinking stuff? But I guess you'd call me oh well, it looks cool. <laughs> Everyone's got a dumbass uncle in the family. And that's me. After all, I'm ex-Yakuza. Based in Yokohama? Yeah, the Seryu clan. After I got out, I looked after the shop for 20 years, till today. You mean Siren, right? What'll happen to it once you've skipped town? <laughs> None of your concern. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So you two are related. I noticed you didn't mention Kiwana being an alias. Oh, done your homework, I see. Now that Kiwana's secret's out of the open, where should I lead the conv conversation next? Well, you're both pretty shady people. My, well, my name's Fake too. What was he like when he was young? His real, uh, real name is Kitaka. Uh, Kitakata. Whatever, uh, His whatever it is. Kitakata. It's a long ass name. At least, that's what the Kamurocho thugs call them. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see... Uwana-kun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. Such as? A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Don't you mean a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the bush here. See, I figured you'd grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content private. So, if you could just hand that over. Now I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No, I'd still need to confirm you told the truth. Can't you tell Kuanakun's backed into a corner here? Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, I've got to say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kawana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. So Kawana's prepared to disappear at any time. In that case, I definitely can't hand over this data. Yeah, I gotta keep it with me. It's a uh, it's a bargain, boys. If that's the case, if he wants it so bad, he's gotta come get it. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kawana. Her name was Yokosawa, a young woman dedicated to her career. <sighs> I'd met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running into Kawana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamurocho just to get a Kawana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa-sensei? Again, that's a negative. And this flash drive's my only concrete lead? <sighs> if it's so important to Kawana, he should have come himself, rather than send a middleman. <sighs> Don't be so hard on him. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kawana's ex-Yakuza too? Nah. No. He was just your average civvy before all this. But circumstances as they were, 
He had no choice but to go underground. That's when he came to a gene show, and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. But he took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking him up. He had good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. Good reasons? Care to give me one or two? <sighs> You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. That takes care of everything I have to say. Not sure it's such a good idea for me to just let you leave. Thinking about stopping me? Wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in Ijincha, huh? Yep, and I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. I can learn more about this flash drive. Tsuchikomo uh, would be able to check for the encryption. Yeah, we just gotta head back to uh, Yokohama boys and give this to our encryption guy. To our hacker, he should be able to encrypt it. So we'll do that, I guess, in the next video. We're gonna end up uh, going heading back over there, and uh, we'll see what's on the uh, the flash drive. After all of this, uh, I hope Kaido's gonna be all right. I know I talk a lot about a lot of shit about him, but still, I don't want him to necessarily die or anything. I just want him to be more useful sometimes. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.